and Paul to come forward. As I mentioned, today is their 59th wedding anniversary. Come on closer. <laughs> and I think family life is a great gift from God to us, and we need to respect, and not only respect it, but honor it on occasions like this. You have children and grandchildren. And great-grandchildren. Total number of those, how many? Uh, five. Five, okay. I ask you, send your blessings. Please stand, and just in your own heart, send a blessing of prayer upon Paul and Julie. Lord, you've given us the sacrament of marriage as a way to procreate in the world and fill your church with Christians. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your Eucharistic celebration and the celebration of the sacrament of marriage, free us from really focusing on our role as Christians. And we ask you to keep Paul and Julie faithful to your teachings and pass your teachings on to their children. In your goodness, Father, your blessings, Paul and Julie, I ask you, would you like to renew your promises? Yes. <laughs> Will you continue to accept great-grandchildren from God? Yes. You already did the children and grandchildren. And would you promise to give each other in holy sacrament of marriage every day of your lives? Yes. God the Father, you are eternal, and you love us, and you've given this couple your love that they can live it out in their human way, in their family, so that the peace of Christ stay with them and always be in their home. May your children and great-grandchildren bless you, your friends console you, and all people live in peace with you. Paul and Julie, may you always bear witness to the love of God in this world so that the afflicted and the needy will find in you generous friends and welcome you to the joys of heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you may kiss your bride. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations.